And let's start off with the Internet of Things. And what exactly the products already IBM is helping businesses grow? Yeah, so, you know, if you take We've got the, the whole platform environment as developers come in and learn about what the Internet of Things is. Then we've got a whole range of applications, how to get started in the Internet of Things. And then the sort of digital transformation that goes around it. Uh, Ten days ago we had the Genius of Things event in our Munich uh, Internet of Things headquarters. And we had 600 clients, uh, all C's, uh, from 400 different businesses, and we had 22 companies sharing outcomes. How BMW, how Schaeffler, uh, how uh, Visa are all using Cognitive inside of the Internet of Things, as well as a series of companies working with us around um, co-location. Companies who, BMP Paribas, uh, as an example, uh, working with us to innovate to create using cognitive. So these co-laboratories in this huge ecosystem. So what does BMP Paribas make with cognitive? They're, they're not sure what they're gonna, they're looking at the problems that they have, that data can help solve, and together we're creating services and products with their intense vertical knowledge and our own cognitive knowledge to come up with a solution. So, so it's driving, like a laboratory. Is it driving revenue for IBM yet? Uh, oh, the Internet of Things most definitely. The Parabar example is very new and mm. we announced it at the Internet of Things, but most definitely we have 6,000 billing clients, either through the platform, the applications, or the, the digital transformation. So it's at a real inflection point. The Watson element, the AI, artificial intelligence, what edge is that giving IBM? I think it's absolutely enormous because one of the key elements in the whole Internet of Things is this mass of data, yeah. structured and unstructured, that is you know, just coming from every possible sensor, device, you saw our announcement today with AT&T and the onset of 5G, et cetera. Watson um, is able to not only process all of that data, structured and unstructured, but very, very quickly, in natural language, share correlations and patterns that you would just not be able to see. Uh, and let's take, you know, Schaeffler as an example. They're the biggest ball bearing manufacturer in the world. And yes, their factories are going to be smarter, they're going to be more efficient, but they're also creating a cognitive, self-determining ball bearing that knows when it needs maintaining, that knows when it needs replenishing, and knows when it's off. And so these, Watson really is the differentiator. Without Watson, how could you really uh, uh, analyze and create meaningful products and services in this space? And so do you think the Watson element is the edge vis-a-vis -vis Google's cloud, Microsoft's cloud, Amazon's cloud? Is that what sets you apart? Well, I think um, the fact that we have cognitive capability that is actually with clients discussing outcomes. Yesterday, SNCF, the largest uh, French transportation system, talking about the myriad of ways that they save money, drive services through using uh, Watson IoT. So cognitive is huge. The second two areas that are very big in the Internet of Things, which are very differentiating for IBM, the first is uh, the whole security. Yeah. And for you know, 50 years and more, IBM has been protecting the data of our clients. It's their data. Yeah. Uh, even if we create products together, it's their data. And so uh, the data question and the security issues where we have baked in to our products all that IBM's history yeah. imbues in yeah. are the single most important elements, the cognitive edge, security, and data.